no idea what you're talking about, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so a guy was caught last night streaming the fight of the main pay-per-view for Danny Green versus um, Anthony Mundine Chock. It was supposed to be a big fighting card. Foxtel Rover, they had the rights for it. It was pay-per-view 60 bucks <laughs> per person. And what has happened is that he's streamed it. It was supposed to be for him and just his mates. And then originally, uh, some people have seen the stream, watched the video as well, and eventually that's just grown bigger and bigger. And then there's 1,000, there's 5,000, then 10,000. And then there ended up being like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60,000, 70,000 people. And Foxtel eventually gave him a call. They gave him a call somehow. They called his number. They, 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 we don't even know how they got his phone because... It doesn't sound like the service was under his name. It's just like a random call to like, you know, his name. They've gotten it from some other way. I don't know if it's like a breach of privacy or somehow they've been able to get his number, but they've given him a call while this stream is happening. He's actually had a chat with the Foxtel guys and um, <laughs> they've asked him to turn it off. While this is happening, we're still seeing like the second or third card, which is Quay Cooper versus um, McInnes, Jack McInnes. That fight happening and he's like oh no i don't you know i don't want to you know i don't think i have to mate and then eventually like as they're talking ten thousand more people jumped on oh up to a hundred and ten thousand people <laughs> were watching this stream sorry mate i just had to shut that on mute so you want me to turn off the fox because i can't stream it <laughs> no I want, I want you to stop streaming it on facebook just keep watching the fight at home there's no drama <laughs> to that at all just don't stream it Mate, I've got 78,000 viewers here that aren't going to be happy with you, mate. I just don't see why it's legal. I, I, I'm not doing anything wrong, mate. I mean, what can you do to me? It is, it's against the criminal protection of the copyright, mate. I've got the protection measures inside the box, so exactly this thing can't happen. Bullshit. It's against the copyright. <laughs> oh, unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable. That's it, mate. <laughs> I think I can stop streaming, mate. It's, I just don't think, it, you know, I think I've got the right to do it. I paid for it. continuing and it's the funniest thing because like he, he, he came back after a little bit and then was like oh guys um you're gonna have to i'm gonna have to quit it here otherwise they're gonna sue me and then but we'll, we'll play it for a couple of more minutes so we can record it for a little bit longer <laughs> so other people i was watching this myself everyone was on facebook watching this if you if you weren't on facebook watching this i don't know where you were because that was the place to be the comment section was erupting like even now in the aftermath it was erupting but the thing was once he went down other people were doing it in his place oh my god the thing so for, they so, can't chase them up i don't know like what are they gonna do they're gonna chase every single person who's strange absolutely crazy like if they knew who it was why didn't Foxtel just cut off that individual person's in the first place rather than ring up and say, well, we put a message on your thing, get rid of it. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe. He's been completely open about it on his Facebook. In fact, he even added me as a friend. That's how much of a bloke this guy is. He's the Aussie battler 
fighting for all the other other Aussie battlers like us. And he's fighting for us. Six dollar pay per view. Who wants to pay that for like the mundane and green fire? Like this isn't Conor McGregor versus. Um, <laughs> he's actually blown up on his page. Look at this. He, it's blown up. Things are gone. But the weird thing is, he has a GoFundMe page that he's open. But then other people have gone and made other GoFundMe pages and created fake Facebook profiles with the name Darren Sharp and tried to actually, you know, link it to his profile so other people will click that instead of his one. His legit one is actually on his page. It's on his page. It's nowhere else but there. Let's have a bit of a look. If you scroll down, this has to be one of the funniest memes though. Check this out. Darren Sharp did more <laughs> for the nation in two hours than this vlog ever has in his whole term, which is Malcolm Turnbull, our Prime Minister. <laughs> Donald Trump signing off a declaration. You can now live stream any sport on social media. <laughs> Especially Fox, they'll just ask Darren Sharp. <laughs> He's posted himself for the GoFundMe page, and there it is. So if you want to click directly on that, don't click on any of the other ones that have come up. It's legit his. And he's hit his goal. He's got $2,000 paid up to him so far of the 10 gate total. And that was like less than 24 hours ago that this has been open. All the people are writing in, they're giving $10 each. You imagine if every single person who connected to that live stream paid $10, mm -hmm. he'd have a million dollars. I don't know what's going to happen. Like technically, if there was 100,000 people, it's 60 bucks for the pay-per-view. Does that mean that Foxtel's going to sue for $6 million? Streaming is not illegal or against copyright. If I pay-per-view and invite 20 people over to have a pay for the content, but are going to watch it for free for them. I invited them over to my house. Streaming is no different. I don't know if the law works that way. I don't know how deep this is going to go, but I think the Australian people, if they all come together and actually like go into their pockets, I mean, because let's be honest, there's not a single person in Australia who didn't watch his stream. Like you think about it, even Foxtel were like, we're having technical difficulties, but no dramas because Darren's actually like posting it himself. You know, the response after they'll like, you know, close down the stream plays, he's like, you know, I've got 78,000 views, viewers who aren't going to be happy. Like that is, that is comical. That is typical Australian. I absolutely love it. I think this is the funniest thing that's going to happen in 2017. I've been laughing the whole time, reading people's comments, reading your comments on Facebook. It's absolutely hilarious. I don't know. What do you do think, you, Simi? Do you reckon the guy that's from Fox Hill that called Darren is getting shit? Did they find out who it was? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, I mean, like... It sounded like he was really untrained and unprofessional. He's kind of like, um, you know, can you please shut it down? Um, yeah, we, we've got your, we've got you, your number because, um, you know, you had a Foxtel account previously. It's like, no, I didn't. And he's like, well, it's actually my partner's phone. I don't know. It sounded like really unprofessional. Like this guy shouldn't have been able to hold, like, handle the PR relations of what whatever was happening in, in in my job we actually have a pr person who handles those type of things and is on call 24 7 in case something big happens it's a bit of like a company liability thing but i, I think this is the funniest thing people have been blowing up about foxtel like look at some of the crap that they're absolutely getting here bakuki wanna good on you mate foxtel optus and stan you know yada 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 all they do is hunt themselves up in ads on free TV. Then they, then you see what they offer and it's not much better. The backlash that Foxtel's actually getting, do you think it's worth it? Like, do you think the negative publicity of like giving this guy a hard time and potentially gonna sue him for millions of dollars, like, do you, would you say that's worth it? Like, would, I don't know, like. Well, I reckon Foxtel will. It probably potentially at least like ask for some sort of compensation <laughs> for their copyright or losses in customers, I suppose. Because they're a big company. Big companies <laughs> like to bully little people. Yeah, true. Technically, the people who were streaming and were like watching, I should say, were actually watching the stream, are people who probably wouldn't have paid for the pay-per-view regardless. So it's not like they probably would. It's like potential money that they wouldn't have missed out on anyway. I can technically see why it's against the law because if everyone <laughs> did it, then, why would then one person would pay for it. <laughs> and it will be all across Australia. But uh, have you ever seen 110,000 people in a single person's lounge room ever in the entire world? No. <laughs> Darren Sharp, you are an absolute legend, man. He's embraced this. On his Facebook, he's completely embraced the post and up funny thing. I think it's hilarious. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you actually think about this problem? Give it a thumbs up if you think, you know, he should be Australian of the year because that's what <laughs> everyone's saying. Give it a thumbs down if you think Foxtel should sue this bloke and get like you know, whatever money they can. I don't know. <laughs> I can't get over this. I can't get over it. <laughs>